Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another full before and after video. This is the grossest house we have ever flipped, ever, ever, ever. Stay tuned. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't think it's that bad. I actually think it's got a little bit of curb appeal, some nice lines. What do you think? I think you've been doing this too long. <laughs> <laughs> there is a weird, creepy situation above the garage with the windows. I'm not sure what's going on up there. Yeah. All you can see are two by fours. I agree. It's not terrible. It's not my favorite, yeah. but it's okay. This garage is, seems very long. It, it is comes out long. of the house a long way. You got a lot of bushes that really need to get trimmed back and you got yeah. a sassy red door. Ooh, well that's fun. We got a weird light fixture and uh, I do think we've got a little bit of uh, Look at all those bugs. damage and yeah. some pests here. Yeah. So a little bit of work to do on the exterior. All right, let's talk about the numbers on this house. This is a two bedroom, two bath house built in 1984. It's 1,533 square feet and it was purchased by our homemade partners, Susan and Rob for $300 I'm anxious to get inside. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay, welcome. Oh my goodness. Wow, right out of the gate, man. There's, it's sort of cavernous in here. It is. I don't even know what to comment on first. Why do people love to do different kinds of flooring next to each other? It drives me crazy. Don't you love the parquet though? Parquet and then fake slate. And then I assume this was carpet. I don't know. I think it was all carpet all the time. Let's uh, orient ourselves. Look at here. You got the kitchen right off your front Right foyer. off the front door. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. I think this kitchen is a lot like this puzzle. Yeah. It's half done. Incomplete. <laughs> There's something to work with here. You've got this opening through to your living room, so something to build on. Definitely, this is a gut job. Good news is they've already started demo for us. Sort of. I'm not sure if these were ever even part of the kitchen to begin with. The old plywood countertops. That orange is a special shade as well. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. We didn't even talk about this light. That oh. doesn't seem safe. Yeah. At least it's low profile, not smacking you in the face, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to bump these ceilings at all. I feel like I wish I could steal some space from these ceilings. Yeah. Yeah. This is like cathedral. This is quite the dichotomy. It always feels like in these old houses, like nobody cared about the cook. Nobody it did care. Well, have you read American history? Nobody uh, cared. No, is there anything kind of crazy in there? Or do I need to brush up on? <laughs> There's some things. This is wild though. You can have a whole second story above this and it's just shocking how tall these ceilings are. So I feel like I'm at a restaurant because you've got this mirror. <laughs> Like, where do they find a mirror this big? Wow, the 70s were wild, man. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Also, can we talk about this wall? Because at first glance, this looks like a wallpaper, but it's, <gasps> it's squishy. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Oh my God. It's don't padded. Touch it. Don't touch it. I mean, look at these drapes. They spent some money uh, back in the day. On they these. upholstered the wall. So. Up to like 20 feet. That's not cheap. That's not cheap. That's, you know how many couches you could have done with that? I've seen this done like in a bar area where someone might be kicking the wall i've seen people upholster it like this as to not is this blood we've got this decor uh -huh. what is happening with these um towels that are up uh, there and how did they get up there good question there's so much shelving and it is so high this is like 10 feet up here and i'm guessing they used whatever that is as their launch pad to get up there what is that ah uh, yes yeah, like a <laughs> high dive platform looking thing they're definitely storing grain for winter or some haunted dolls up here i'm not sure which they definitely did us a favor by pre-ripping out this carpet because <laughs> based on what I'm seeing, just in these few little samples, yeah. I, yeah, but this... check out the stairs and we gotta go up there. Ugh. Also, look at all these spider webs up there. Yeah, it's a lot. Maybe, new plan, we don't flip it. Yeah. We hold on to it <laughs> as a haunted house yeah. for next Halloween mm -hmm. and we charge a mission. Haunted house, that's a given. And then, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe sort of like a CSI practice crime scene. Oh, we ooh. could bring in people to train them up. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Make sure you leave a comment. <laughs> we'll see you in October. This is a primary suite and I can tell you right now, we just got to save this for last because okay. I, I can already tell this is ridiculous. Okay, wait, wipe your feet because oh, we were outside. Sorry, so. yeah, I want to keep it clean in go. here. Let's head upstairs. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I've ever wanted to throw up at a house before, but I do. This is truly bizarre. I guess this is some sort of study workout room. Workout room. We got some weights. We used to have these, man. Dr. Seuss art. Is this target practice? What is uh -huh. happening? Yeah, I think 
Well, I'm hoping these were just like Nerf guns or something. Is people's phone numbers? It's oh, got some digits. Jenny, I got your number. But I think we should blur these. But yeah, dude, man, player's gonna play. Look, you got Ashley, you Chloe got Jenny. R. Chloe not to be R. confused with another Chloe. Man, this was just <laughs> bachelor pad up in here, man. So what's truly bizarre about this house, though, is this is the perfect spot for a third bedroom. You don't have a third bedroom, you only have two. Yeah. So... Close it off. I'm thinking you may be adding some value by making this an actual bedroom. I think you would have added more value by just like having a whole second floor instead of the world's tallest ceilings in your living room and the shortest in your kitchen, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> uh, let's peek our head in this hall bathroom. Okay. Oh, wow. Speaking of cracks. Oh, yeah. Toilet. Toilet's seen a lot of cracks, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is quite the bathroom. You got the one dangly pendant light. At least the layout is fine, and it's not the biggest bathroom if you got to share it, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Better than nothing. And right now, they didn't have to share it. Yeah. Well, to be fair. Okay, let's see this bedroom. Okay, well. Man, this was a... Uh, yourself. The theologian's room. They love God. Right. Bless. Well, it has some color. <laughs> to it. Has some color, has some personalization. Carpet is disgusting. What is happening right there? Oh, that was a cigar they just put out. Like that the one. Carpet is eating itself. Ugh. They had some target practice on this wall. <laughs> I'm not sure. If this is anger issues, if this is target practice. Oh wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Seen some stuff. If these walls could talk. They would need therapy. <laughs> Uh, that's the upstairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm almost afraid that I feel like the primary suite is yeah. just gonna put us over the edge. You here. ready for the grand finale? Let's do it. Rip that band-aid off. Oh! Um, hey! Well... We've got another one of these things in the corner. You just wonder what those were. I do like that they took a break from the mirrors for the window. Yeah, this is not the first house we've seen with plenty of mirrors. On the positive side, you got a lot of room to work with. Uh-huh. And you know what? The room feels twice as big. <laughs> It does. Creates that illusion. Yeah. I've seen more than enough. You've seen twice as much as you probably needed to. Yep. Let's move into the bathroom. Yeah, let's let's discuss this. So this is one of the more unique primary bath layouts I've seen. Not quite sure what to make of this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's very bizarre. You've, You've got, got his and her sinks. That's a plus. Positive. The problem is that this also serves as your hall bathroom bath. to the rest of the house. That's special. You want your guests to see your primary bathroom, totally. right? Totally. And it's also bizarre because you've got this big old garden tub, but it's like tucked back here in the corner with low ceilings again. Can you hear the acoustics down here? Um. We should record here. a podcast in here. Welcome back to another episode of what happened in this house? That's our true crime uh, yes. house-themed uh, murder Spin podcast. Spin-off. Spin-off, smash subscribe. This light fixture is just so fitting for this house. Uh -huh. It's like a medieval torture fixture. And then the yellow sink is just special. It is something special. Oh. I want, um, see, I, I wanted to do that. I just didn't want to touch You don't want to touch it. You're, <laughs> you're scared to touch anything in it's here. creepy in here. Yeah. Yeah, after walking this house, I am grossed out. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, so our partners are Susan and Rob on this. They're a super fun couple. They live here in town. This is their first flip ever. They were super excited to get started and to learn all about the process. So I'm really excited to work with them. But the cool thing about Homemade is you don't have to be local to Austin like Susan and Rob. You can be from anywhere in the US. If you're interested in the program, go ahead, click the link for more information on how it works. This is gonna be an exciting one and I'm excited to work with them. It's gonna be a little chaotic, but we're gonna get it done. All right, guys, demo is well underway. A lot happening out here. Yeah, unfortunately, we ran into a few surprises during demo. Let's get inside. We'll show you what we're talking about. Getting through a little of the muck. Okay, so one thing we have demoed is this squishy wall. So it's now what you would call deconstructed. So you'll notice behind this padding and foam, which gave it that puffy feel, is just actually drywall and a wall. Also, huge change that we're gonna be making over here in the living room. That giant mirror is now gone. 
as you can see, more to come later in the episode, but we have a really fun fireplace planned for this space. And I think it's gonna be a huge dramatic focal point. All right, now this is the biggest layout change to add value to the house. We've reframed under the staircase. This is gonna be our new half bathroom. You're gonna have a toilet here on my left, vanity right in front of me. And now we've got a new entryway into your garage from what used to be a closet. This is gonna add a ton of value. We're not expanding the footprint of the house at all, but we're getting a whole half bathroom. That's a huge value add. Some good news that we uncovered from demo we actually can bump up the ceiling height here in the kitchen. We put in a beam, we started to reframe, and now we've got to move that gas line because it was dropped a little bit down. So in order to get it all the way over here and get that overhead height, we had to move it. But unfortunately, we also found some not so good things when we demoed the ceiling. Let me show you. So unfortunately, once we got into the demo phase of this project, we found rats. And unfortunately they had already chewed through a lot of the wires and it was very unsafe in there. Our original inspection didn't show any wire damage from rats, but once we started demo and opened up those walls, these rats didn't just ruin one or two wires. Every wire throughout this house was ruined so much so that it was cheaper and faster to just rip out all the wiring and replace it all from scratch. Which was definitely not in our original budget and scope. This is a total bummer, but not all hope is lost. The demo giveth and the demo taketh away. So unfortunately we are gonna have to redo all the electrical, but we found a little hidden treasure of this house. We kicked down this wall. There's a big, just sort of void behind this wall. And I think there's a livable space there. It's not framed, we'd have to beef up that framing, but I think we could get almost 200 square feet additional. So I'm thinking we could potentially save some of the money we're gonna have to spend on the rewiring by getting additional square footage on the back end. We're gonna have to figure this out if it'll work, but since we're already redoing a bathroom, it might not be that much more to get a little bit more bedroom livable square footage upstairs. Frankly, I can't believe they didn't do this in the first place. Okay guys, super excited to show you the design plan for Susan and Rob's house. This is going to be a fun one. I cannot wait to show it to you. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got this really fun space in the powder room. So if you remember, we are adding that powder room, which is going to be a huge upgrade. Currently, any guests that come to the house have to share with the primary, and that's just sort of awkward. So we've got not only this great functional space, it's going to be beautiful as well. So the thing I am most excited about for this powder room is the wallpaper. We are using this super fun, bold wallpaper. It's got a navy background, which as you'll notice, we're gonna sprinkle navy throughout this house. And it's got peacocks. Who doesn't love peacocks? This is so fun. I cannot wait to see it installed. We are just gonna run it on the top top half to save money and just to not overwhelm somebody because it's a pretty bold selection. On the bottom of that wallpaper, we're doing just a nice white wainscoting. I think it will look fresh and clean. We've got white cabinets, quartz countertops. We are doing brass accents and fixtures in this bathroom and actually throughout the house. So really cute hardware. It's this acrylic with brass accents. It's just really fun and I think gives it a little modern punch. So let's move over to the living room. Because this is a two-story vaulted ceiling, I really wanna highlight that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this fireplace all the way to the ceiling and just really put an emphasis on how tall these ceilings are and how grand this space is. I'm gonna do a nice bow marble surround to really just make it feel nice and classy. So let's move on upstairs because there's a lot of changes up there. This is where we had a lot of structural changes in this house. If you remember, this space over here was open to the living room. We actually ran a wall to make it a proper bedroom. It already had a closet, so that was great. That was something that we had had originally planned to do. What we had not planned to do originally was all of this space over here. If you'll remember, we discovered that after demo, rats had chewed up the entire electric system, which required a $14,000 upgrade, people. We were super freaked out because that was gonna eat into our bottom line, but we found this entire room over here. This was unclaimed, unused space above the primary suite. It does leave us with a little bit of a funky situation in that you have to walk through a room to get to the other room. That's why we're gonna leave this space as more of a flex space, could be an office, could be a workout room, could be a nursery, a playroom, or what have you. I think it will be valuable space to the future buyer no matter what. But let's check out the bathroom upstairs. So this will be a shared bathroom between those two bedrooms, and I'm super excited about it. We're going with just a clean, vertical stack tile. Again, we're gonna use brass accents throughout, keep it just nice, fresh, and clean. All right, now let's go check out the primary suite downstairs. Okay, so this bedroom is really a nice size, so I'm super excited about it. Moving over to the primary bathroom, this is where we had to do some changes and finesses to the layout, but I really Really like what we came up with. Straight away, you'll notice that this is where the vanities are currently. I think by moving the vanities over here and really making this a nice closet space, that's gonna go a long way to our resale value. In the primary bathroom itself, we're again keeping it nice, fresh, clean with the white shaker cabinets, white quartz countertops, and the brass accents. We are gonna mix it up a little bit in the shower. This shower is huge, you guys. We're gonna go with this really fun navy blue tile. Again, we're gonna run it vertical stack, which is super on trend. And if you'll notice, this sort of brings us back to 
the blue in the wallpaper. So everything has just a nice fresh feel and you're using this bathroom for yourself. You're not sharing it with nobody if you don't want to which is always a perk. And then throughout the house, we are gonna go with this matte black hardware on the doors. It has a nice solid feel. I'm super excited to get started on this one. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Thank you, Rat, but I think it's gonna turn out great. Stay tuned. So a lot has changed since the last time we were here. Let me show you. If you'll recall, this was all attic space previously. We went ahead and busted in, framed it out, got all new electrical, new flooring, some brand new gorgeous windows. This is gonna be a great bedroom. And more importantly, it's square footage that we can add to the listing on resale. Okay, so down in the primary suite, you can see the new framing above us for that additional bonus space upstairs. And in here, we actually enlarged this window. Now, typically we wouldn't have done this because the juice really isn't worth a squeeze, but because we're already framing for the new space and we're replacing siding, it made sense we could go ahead and enlarge the space without a whole lot more effort than if we were just doing this as a standalone project. Really brightens up the space. It's gonna make it a lot more energy efficient too. And speaking of the siding, that's what the guys are working on today. So let's go take you outside and get an update there. Okay, so as you can see, siding has gone up. Now we actually had to take down two <laughs> times the siding. Underneath that vinyl siding, we actually found this wood board siding that was full of holes and a lot of damage. So we had to go ahead and replace that. It's looking a lot better so far. Yep, there's always surprises on these projects. Speaking of which, we had this window here that was just sort of awkward. You could see into the unfinished attic. So we decided to remove that window and just cover it with a vent. I think it works. So much more curb appeal. That was just a weird, awkward window. We got a wrap siding. We got moisture barrier down. We just got to get the rest of this hardy siding up and then it's going to be on to paint. Yeah, it's flying from here. So lots of changes taking place inside. As you can see, we have drywall going up. They're texturing today to get ready for paint. Kitchen is looking a lot different. We have a lot more headroom in here. We did raise the ceiling up in here and we did lower this bar between the kitchen and the dining space so that we're gonna run some countertops across here and it's gonna feel a lot more open than it did before. Let me show you a few other cool spaces that we just framed up. So immediately across from the kitchen, we've added this new powder bath. If you'll remember before, this was just blank space under the stairs, totally unused. We're gonna have a really cute powder room in here. We've got wallpaper selected. It's gonna be super fun. And another cool space that I'm super excited for is this laundry room. We've totally... Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, you doing a little laundry? Yeah, check this space out. We're bringing the laundry indoors from what was inside the garage. And as you know, we have those rats chewing up all of our electrical. Our rats. So we've got a brand new electrical panel, which is actually a really nice upgrade on this place. Still tons to do. We need to do floors. We need to do paint, cabinets, counters. That sounds like a lot of work. I'm thinking just we just roll it into a montage, see what happens. Go for it. All right, man, this thing is a wrap. We, we got to get you into it and reveal this bad boy. This is one of those where you look back where it started and you can't believe how far you've come. In three, two, one. Nice. Man, look at this place. <laughs> what a difference. Man, this thing had an exterior glow up. I'm loving the facade now, yeah? Looking great. Love the new siding. Love the color we went with. And I love that we replaced these awkward windows with this nice clean vent. They were just like two by fours looking through windows. It was so bizarre. So weird. But you know what's not weird? What? This front door, I'm loving this bright, fun blue. We got some matte black accents, some nice new windows, painted the brick, new landscaping. She's looking fresh. It's fresh. You got these nice little rocks sprucing it up. I'm not feeling fresh. It is hot out here. You can hear the cicadas. <laughs> we got to get inside to that AC and see what's updated inside. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at it. So, so good. The first thing I am noticing is, yeah, we had to keep this little drop down here, but now I've got more headroom as soon as I walk in, yeah? It makes such a difference. This is very important. I'm 6'1". This was like, I was worried I was gonna knock my head right there. Just and find every reason to tell people you're 6'1". 
that's a, like a not a crazy height. It's for reference, yes. so the people can tell right. how it's much more comfortable with the ceiling raised up. Raise yes. the roof. We raise the roof right out of the gate. Off to our left is our kitchen, but we can't start there. We got to start to our right. We got to start with this beautiful powder bath. I love how this turned out. So cute. I love the blue bold wallpaper. Corresponds with the blue in the door. Oh, I see what you did there. You're peacocking a little. We've got the faux marble floors. We've got the nice bright white wainscoting. We got these really fun acrylic and gold hardware on the cabinets. This was just a pass through into your primary bathroom. So bizarre, you had to share that. Now you have a proper powder room that can serve your guests and they don't have to know what medications you take at night. <laughs> <laughs> when they go to the bathroom at your house. This took some doing, but I think it's gonna pay off in the end. Big lift, big value add. Speaking of hot, let's go check out this new fresh kitchen. This kitchen is fire. Loving it. Not a ton of layout changes here. We kept it pretty much as is. We did add some nice storage over here, which was previously that orange wall. I don't know if you remember. I do remember, who could forget? <laughs> but the big upgrade in my mind, we really opened up this sort of picture window into your living space. It makes it feel so much less compressed in here. Raise the roof in here as well. You've got your bar stools right here. It serves as basically your in kitchen dining. Yeah, you can have a tall cook in here. Loving how Backsplash turned out. Loving the vertical stack with different size tile. Oh, and let me show you one other neat little feature right here. Ooh. Look, you got the pop-up plug right Sweet. there. Sweet. Work from home, blend from the kitchen. Yes. Anything you want to do. You got it right there. GFCI protected. No big deal. And inset microwave because we classy like that. Yeah, I think this is so much more functional now and little gold accents. It's nice. Very nice. Speaking of nice, mm -hmm. let's go check out the focal feature of this house. Yes. Yeah, so this fireplace was always a feature. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of features and not in a good way in this yeah, living room. Yeah, this was memorable in a very not great way previously. Okay, before we touch the fireplace, going. I gotta yeah. touch this wall. <laughs> <laughs> is it squishy? There's no squishy. All right. The squishy is gone. So classic. is all the fabric. All the fabric is gone. We went with classic drywall. With a nice neutral paint. Yes, always a winner. Yeah, we neutralized the whole thing. And I feel like it feels taller this way. Your eye is drawn all the way up to the ceiling rather than yeah. wherever that diving perch I'm 6'1", <laughs> and you can tell this is at least 30 feet. Okay, speaking of... <laughs> normally tall. Let's talk about this fireplace. So one way that we were really able to accent how tall the ceilings are was to run this fireplace all the way to the top. This is one of my favorite pieces that we've done in here because it looks classy AF, mm -hmm. right? But it's pretty cheap, right? Because this is just trim, paint, a little bit of plywood. And instead of having to pay for tile or marble or some sort of more expensive material to run all the way up, it looks just as good, but fraction of the cost. Love that. Also love that we added in the nice faux marble tile surround Rounds, really helps make the fireplace feel elevated. Love it. Speaking of elevated, I can peek my eyes into that primary bedroom. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Gotta have you stick around for something, people. Let's head upstairs first. This space that we're about to see is newly converted into a bedroom space. Okay, now, I don't know if you remember what was here, but there was a lot happening in There's this a, man cave. A lot going on. First of all, this was all exposed to the living space. Mm -hmm. This was like more open, like a hangout area, and they were doing some hanging out. Yeah, oh yeah, he was exposed to the ladies over here. I don't know if you remember, he had the Rolodex on the wall. Major player. Gym in this corner. Yep. Now we have made it suitable for sleeping. This is now a proper bedroom space. It does have a closet and bedrooms are always valuable on a listing. The more, the better. I feel like normally I hate changing around layouts if we don't have to, but this house just was begging for it. It would not work without that powder bath down here, without making this a bedroom, without this converted space that we're about to see. I feel like the layout is so much better and that's a gift. Let's go check out the second bathroom. Loving how this bathroom turned out. It is classy, elegant, beautiful, timeless. Neutral, what else can I say? This is one of my favorites we've done. I love that subtle pop of color in the gray tile, the gold hardware. It's just really nice, and I can't put my finger on exactly what I love about this, but I really love this bathroom. I love the vertical stack. I am in the vertical stack right now. And you got a little pop a penny tile right there in your soap niche. Just a little pop a penny? Mm hmm. Pop a penny. Let's move on and see this brand new space. This was the former chapel of the old house, <laughs> the sanctuary. They loved God in here. And now this is a nice little flex space. 
Yeah, when we discovered all that new space, which we're about to see, thank you to the rats. Thanks, rats. We had a little bit of a tiny bit of an awkward layout in what to do with this space, but I think this works perfect as a bonus space. Could be an office, could be a playroom, could be a workout room, could be a nursery. There's a lot of things this could be. And I think it splits the two bedrooms, so it's a nice kind of common area if you got kids or you got to work up here. I love this space. I do too. Let's go check out the brand new space because yes. she's looking good. Love that we ran our hardwood floors throughout the house, including in the bedrooms. It's just always classy when you do that. I love this big picture window over here. Let's in a lot of natural light. It's not every day that the house is just giving you gifts <laughs> of free unused space. I mean, this was literally the perfect size. If it had been any smaller, you couldn't really make a bedroom out of it. If it had had a weird slope in the ceiling, there were just so many things that could have gone wrong and made this not a convertible space but it all worked out. Instead of this being a bedroom, this was just a rat, rat apartment. apartment where they could hang out, feast on wiring and whatever else rats eat. I love this room, I'd move right in. But it's not even the best bedroom in the house. <laughs> okay, well let me go see the primary suite. I might change my mind. I might change my mind, I don't know. You might be right. Can you see yourself in this bedroom? Instead of all the mirrors, we've got natural light, which is just, nicer. Yes, and got big fake plants. We added this nice big picture window, which was normally an upgrade we wouldn't have done, but because we were replacing all the siding on the exterior, then it made a lot of sense. That's a win. Totally. Loving this room. I think this is great, but what I love even more is what we have done if the closet and bathroom. Yes, and I think we worked miracles with this layout. Passing through on the way to your bathroom, you have this amazing closet, which I feel like frankly is just the right size. This is a Goldilocks situation here. This is my side, that's your side. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm six foot one, so <laughs> I can handle the double rack. Can you reach up there? No, you can't. Can I reach up there, there yeah. with a hanger? Yeah. You can, oh wow. I'm taller than I thought. This is a little bit weirder layout than you normally see, but I think this makes more sense as a full closet than before you had like a vanity here. It, it didn't work either way. Yep, and so we did have to move the plumbing from here to here for your nice fresh vanity. I'm loving this space. Lots of good light in here. This primary bath is a showstopper. We beefed up this shower massively. <laughs> this thing is like a car wash. This is <laughs> enormous. <laughs> yeah, man, you could really go to town, bring your dog, get in there, a couple dogs. One thing we did do, we ran the tile vertically, not only because it's in style, but it really visually makes the room feel taller than it is. Yeah, and I love tying the navy theme throughout this bathroom, the front door, the powder bath. It's that nice little thread throughout. Mm -hmm. Love the round mirrors. They turned out totally cute. We've got the globe lighting throughout the house. And then of course our brass accents and faucets. I'm loving how this house turned out. Super proud of it. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorites of all time. Whoa. Yeah. Our partners have left the country. <laughs> but they did get to see it before they left and they're loving it, which is big relief. That's the biggest thing. If you guys stick around to the end, smash the subscribe button because I know you love this kind of thing. It's before and after. And stick around because we've got to talk about the final numbers on this project. So Susan and Rob purchased the house for $355,000. They spent $165,000 on the renovation and their holding and financing costs were $60,000, bringing their total investment in the project to $580,000. They closed and sold the property for $600,000, netting them a profit of $20,000. Hey, if you guys like the video, make sure you check out some more of our full before and after renovations.